Judge denied Tori Adamchek post conviction relief in court today. Adamchek is one of the men convicted in 2007 for the murder of Cassie Jo Stoddard. With a new trial out of the picture, Adamchek is now looking to have his sentence reconsidered. Eyewitness News reporter Dennis Valera has been following this story for us and breaks down exactly what happened in court today. Dennis? Judge Mitchell Brown did agree with Adam Chick's attorney that there were deficiencies in the old defense team, but he says they probably wouldn't have made a difference in the outcome of the trial. It seems to me illogical, and I think Judge Brown is in error about this, to say that anything, especially the significant items that we have, could not have turned the tide. In July, Benjamin showcased all character and expert testimonies that was tossed out by the original defense team when threatened with damaging character evidence by prosecution. To get Adam Chick's sentence reconsidered, Benjamin referenced two U.S. Supreme Court cases, Miller versus Alabama and Montgomery versus Louisiana. Miller establishes life sentences aren't appropriate for juveniles unless they're irreparably corrupt, while Montgomery expands Miller to apply to cases before 2012. Benjamin says the evidence presented proves Adam Chick isn't irreparably corrupt. All those things show that Tory, even if we concede the point, which we do not, that he committed the murder, that he is not beyond rehabilitation. Prosecutor Jared Johnson argued the Miller case was applied to in the original trial, saying the judge took age and youthfulness in consideration. Reporting for the Bannock County Courthouse, I'm Dennis Valera. Judge Brown will be making a decision on the motion at a later date. A man